What's up, guys? Welcome to the Crypto Savvy channel. Is Bitcoin's little rally going to continue or are we going to look for a reversal back down to the downside? We're going to take a look at the charts, see what they're telling us. Obviously, um, I gave you some targets yesterday to watch for and we're going to take a look at where those are. So definitely stick around for the whole video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And the number one thing you can do for the channel is scroll down and smash that thumbs up. It is appreciated. Also, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think of the video and let's get into it. So as of right now, it is almost eight o'clock when I'm making this video. So an hour and a half before markets open. So far, the Dow futures are up 342 points. Yesterday, it dropped 329. So it does seem as we are getting a little relief rally. How high can that go? We'll take a look at it. Uh, S&P's up 53 points. NASDAQ's up 199. So obviously, Bitcoin is going to bump up a little bit with this. But how far will it go? Let's take a look. So as you guys know, on the Dow Jones, we broke our main support right here. Our next support is around the 28.5 to 28 thousand range right in there like i've been saying once we break this line then my target is around the 22 area but of course we could have a little rally here as you can see we broke this bottom trend line in the rsi we may come back up to retest that area and if we do get a major rally or major dead cat bounce um i think we'll probably come up and close this gap somewhere around the 30,000 point range. Now, if we get above that, we could continue all the way up and retest this center of this falling channel, which would be around 31. Um, obviously, everything is still bearish in the macro. Obviously, things don't go straight up or straight down, so you're gonna have relief rallies in a bear market, which I still believe we are in a bear market. So let's take a look at what's going on with the DXY. As you guys know, the DXY broke out of this channel. And right now, the bottom of this channel is around 113, 227 in the four hour, right? So as long as this holds as support, I think we continue to our target. And that's just a measured move. I'll show you of the width of this channel breaking out to the top. Gets us up to about that 119 area. Um, I'm still looking for that in the shorter term, you know, uh, in the next few weeks. Get another rally up to this point as long as we don't break below this 113 if we break below the 113 then our next support is going to be around this 55 ema at around 111 112 but i do think this will most likely hold as long as it does uh, we'll continue to see more downside let's take a look at the daily on the dxy so the daily as you guys know on the daily looking at this rising channel which we broke out of came back down tested got support I see that as around 122. So that's my daily target around 122. If we break this, test it for support. The next target is going to be looking at the weekly chart. As you guys know, I'm extremely bullish on the DXY, right? So looking at it as a falling wedge, broke out over here. Once we break this, like I said, we look at this measured move. From the widest point of the wedge to where we broke out up to that 178 to 180 range still looking for that um in the longer term maybe a year or so maybe even more we'll see how it plays out but as you can see once the dow really gets going or i'm sorry the dxy really gets going it can move pretty harsh pretty fast okay we're gonna take a look at the smaller term time frames on bitcoin then we're gonna jump out we're gonna look at the four hour then the daily then the weekly so kind of give us a big picture of what's going on. Uh, as you guys know, that's how we track the markets on this channel. Um, I don't just show show you a bullish video one day, video or bearish video the next, and get you all confused. Um, there's no reason to you know get crazy about the markets until certain points are broken, and that's what we're going to take a look at in the next chart. Before we do, if you guys are interested in trading, definitely check out Prime XBT. By far, my favorite exchange. Uh, they don't trade against you like scammy exchanges. Links down below the video. You can use my promo code SAVVY50. That'll get you up to a $7,000 bonus to add to your margin. SAVVY25 will get you 25% off your fees. Definitely check them out. There's also a tutorial on my YouTube page. 
and let's take a look at what's going on here so in the four hour if we look at the rsi here on the four hour we're still within this channel could come up test this one more time before our breakdown which would make hidden bearish divergence most likely if we do get up above this rsi level uh some things i want to point out here let's get the rsi off of there for now as you can see i have my trend based fibs on here actually this is my fib retracement I went from the top to the bottom and as you can see there is a golden pocket zone around the 21 1 21 2 range right in that area which is also the top of this white trend line which if we zoom out we're going to look at this on the daily here in a minute but if we zoom out you can see this is just a falling wedge i know everybody thinks it's a, a bullish pattern it can be a bullish pattern but i'm going to show you in the daily uh, looking at it in the bigger picture but as you can see this lines up almost perfectly and if we look at this zoom in show you something interesting here zoom in on this triangle the breakout of that triangle also gets us to that same point around the 21 1 range 21 150 somewhere in that range right that would be the measured move target we talked about this yesterday um, i told you yesterday if we broke this 19,300, 19,300 range, then to look for, I had this target up there, the 20,172, which is a 200 EMA. And if we got support, which it does seem we are getting support, as long as we keep opening and closing candles above, above this, then we go to our next target, which is at 21,126 area. I do expect a rejection there. Now, if we do blast up through this, the DXY takes a dump, then we start looking at higher targets. Um, does that mean the bear market is over? Absolutely not. That's why we'll take a look at it in the bigger picture. But let's take a look at the daily now. So looking at this on the daily, what you'll notice is that 55 EMA is going to be right around that same area. Actually, the 55 EMA is right now currently sitting at 20,800. May get a wick above that before continuing to the downside. But again, unless we get above all this and actually we can look at this falling, see, descending triangle here. Let me move this a little bit. This descending triangle right here, you can see the bottom right here, which is support. And then our lower highs continuing down is a descending triangle, right? The top of that is around 21,500. So if we break above that and hold support, then we can start looking at the bullish targets, you know, possibly all the way up to test the 200 EMA. But unless this breaks, there's no reason to be looking for that in my opinion. Let me get this off of there real quick and let's take a look at the big picture, right? This is what we're looking at. So if we put this one two three four five still looking for a fifth wave down in this descending wedge right here so if we do that that would get us down to around this 3500 now we've talked about a false bottom this year around november being 75 to 8500 we might not even see that until the middle of next or i'm sorry the beginning of next year and i'll show you that in the bigger chart but as of right now, um, if we break this falling or descending triangle, it's funny, you know, this little pump here, everyone's getting extremely bullish, guys. There's nothing to be bullish about unless we get above this, say, 21.5 area. Then you can start looking for more bullish targets. But otherwise, the measured move of this, like I said, is around that 3,500. Um, I do think... I don't think it's going to drop straight down, but if we do hit this, this low at the 3,500, if we do get a huge capitulation by the end of this year, then that could be the bottom. But otherwise, as I've been stating, I think the bottom will be in sometime in uh, the middle or end of next year if I get my false bottom theory, right? So anyways, what this will probably look like is, you know, long, slow decline, something like this we'll see how that turns out but it's not going to be one straight candle guys if we do get a huge capitulation candle and hit this under 5k by the end of the year then i think we bounce but let's take a look at the weekly so on the weekly 
Right now, we are currently looking like we want to test the 8 EMA, which lies around that 21.7 area. But remember, it can wick above. Either way, um, here's our weekly targets, and you guys know how I get these. This one is just from a break of this trend line, looking at this as a flagpole. This is a bear flag. That gets our super low low, right? That doesn't mean it happens in a day, guys. And our first target off this, though, once we broke this rising broadening wedge here we bring this down it gets us around the 14.5 so i'm still looking for the 14.5 15.5 area before a real bounce um otherwise everything's still looking extremely bearish in the macro and let's take a look at our amazon compared to bitcoin chart now if you look at this candle we're on now in this weekly guys we've seen plenty of those in here right plenty of those green candles Again, I said on the weekly, if we do pass above this 31,000 range, which is the 55 EMA, then the macro would start looking bullish. But until then, and in the macro, we're still bearish. Um, as you guys know, looking for these timelines for these tops played out almost identically in time. This top right here was uh, May. This top, next top here was in November. This top here was in April, April, May, and this top here in November, right? And then we can even look at these little tops here. So this top over here was in July, this top over here, August. This next top we had right here, this huge rally before the pullback, huge rally before the pullback. This was on January or in January, this was in January. Then it bottomed right here, February, bottomed right here in February. Um, then we had our next low right here in June. We had our next low here in June. Then we had the next low right here in the end of July. This one here was in August. And then after this top down to our one, that was in January. This one here, January, all the timing lines up. So if this plays out as the bubble pop pattern, I think the next low would be in February or March. Um, that is a possibility that it takes all the way to February and March. This could be a long drawn out uh, to get down here and then everyone get extremely bullish around the 75 to 8,500, get a rela relief rally like we did here. This was like a hundred and some percent rally, right? Um, to get everyone bullish only to come down and make a new lower low. And if that was to happen in the same time frame, guys, that would be around February or March when we get that false bottom, get a 100% rally up to that maybe 13, 14,000 range, and then a continuation to the downside towards the middle or end of next year. Now, I know everyone is expecting the four year cycle to play out. I do not believe in the four year cycle. I think Bitcoin was in one big bull market since its creation and i've talked about this for years that as long bitcoin was created when the traditional markets were in a massive bull run they've never seen a traditional bear market which i believe we're in um and i've talked about it for a long time gold silver um, nothing holds up in a traditional bear market the dxy is the only thing that rises and as i've showed you the dxy has a long ways to go up if i'm correct so anyways that's what i'm looking at and if we take a look at let me see if i got this chart on here there's the chart looking at this as a five wave structure up and this being one huge bull rally for bitcoin and now we are in bitcoin's actual first bear market uh, but even so right even if the four hour cycle was true um every time it took about this first bear market took for around 426 days, second one around 365. So if we just did the 365, that would put our bottom in November. That's if the four year cycles actually going to play out, which I don't believe so. And I've showed you guys before that I think it could be a very long time. This is the Amazon chart. And if it plays out like Bitcoin and it obviously it's not going to be candle for candle, but a macro bottom is not going to form in you know, here and then just shoot straight up, guys. That's not how it works. This is a long drawn out process. I think the the bottom formation will probably take 
a good two years, possibly more, and then we can continue up from there. But it's not going to shoot to new all-time highs in three or four years like people are talking about. In my opinion, it could take up could take 10 years or so, and it's still not guaranteed. Watch yesterday's video. I showed you guys some other bubble pop patterns that have been 15 and 20 years and still haven't reached their all-time high. So um, just something to be cautious about. Don't get overhyped in the market. There's levels to watch before, you know, markets turn. They don't just, um, it's not just going to turn around on a dime unless the traditional markets just go in some crazy bull rally again, which it's not looking likely. So anyways, thanks again for watching. Smash those thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. I won't be around today too much on Twitter. I'm going to go. I got some stuff I got to go install on my side by side so just so you guys know i won't be around too much today but have a great day watch those targets and i'll see you in the next